Hi everyone. Today I'm making for you a nice little side dish. It's broccoli. Actually, it's it's like broccoli and egg and odd. Very simple, very easy. I have here olive oil lining the pan to which I'm going to add three or four garlic cloves, depending on size. Ah, you know me, I like a lot of garlic. I'm a garlic person. It's heating up the electric stove that I hate. There's a couple of things in this new house that I'm not thrilled with. The vanity in the bathroom, the door keeps falling on my foot. Oi boy. Well, what are you gonna do? So, the garlic is gonna start to brown and I'm gonna add the broccoli crowns here. You could see here, I don't think I'm gonna fit all of this in this pan. So we're gonna have to save some for broccoli and pasta. I wish my kids liked all the stuff that I grew up with. My mother used to make, in the Italian family, there was like traditional days that you made things. Sunday was sauce, gravy, whatever you wanna call it. Monday was soup, cause you had to clean out all the stuff that you ate over the weekend. Tuesday was like some sort of pasta. Maybe pasta basil, pasta padan. Wednesday was another dish, who knows, chicken cutlets with a little pasta. A little pasta with everything. I learned all these pasta dishes from my mother and my aunts. Ah, it fits, look at this, it fits. Okay, so we're waiting for the garlic. When I start to hear it sizzling, it's ready to add the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna add a little salt. I don't like using too much salt because I use a lot of cheese and the cheese has a lot of salt in it. So, here it goes. I hear it start to, what is it called? Snap, crackle, and pop. That was Rice Krispies. If you're old enough to remember that, you're old like me. <laughs> Again, do you notice my red hair? My grandchildren, I, took, I told you before I took a poll, my grandchildren all like my red hair. I kind of like the red hair too. When I was looking at the white hair, it's not as, I don't know, attractive or what. I liked it that I didn't have to dye it, but I like the red hair more. I'm gonna have to deal with touching it up every four weeks. <laughs> so I hear it starting to sizzle, the garlic. There you go. Now we're gonna add chicken broth. I don't know what I would do with that chicken broth. Chicken broth has so much flavor. I add it into a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna add it into the broccoli so it could cook. And then I'm gonna come back in about 10 to 15 minutes when the broccoli is a little softer. So I'll be back. So the broccoli has been cooking for about 20 minutes. I lowered the flame. If you don't want it really high, all the chicken broth will evaporate. So what I have here is they're all cooked and, and they feel tender. A couple might be a little bit harder than the others because on this electric stove, which I hate, one side cooks more than the other. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle some grated cheese on it. By the way, this is a half a cup. And then I got like a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. That's it, you don't really need to use it all. <laughs> okay. That's it. And let it sit. I turned the heat off and I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes. 
it's a wonderful side dish. I love broccoli. And I'm happy that most of the people in my family like broccoli too. Although some of them just tolerate it. But this is a great way of having broccoli. It's a great side dish. I'll be back when it's done. The broccoli has been simmering for about five minutes. Look at that. Doesn't it look scrumptious? Very easy to make and it's a wonderful side dish. I hope you try it. So don't, re don't forget that all my recipes are beneath the videos. Click on the more button and you'll find all the recipes written out for you if you want to print them out. Don't forget to subscribe and please share my videos. Thank you until next time.